Today marks six months since the Christmas morning bombing on 2nd Avenue. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson is live along 2nd Avenue for us this morning. And Cole, obviously this event changed Nashville forever. I know they're talking about not necessarily rebuilding, but restoring 2nd Avenue. There's been a lot of progress, but unfortunately there's still a long way to go. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, Second Avenue really has transformed over the last six months. I mean, you got murals, you have the lights here, and now they're letting traffic go through. I've had some cars pass by me here up until that fencing over just a street or block over. And then people can also walk down here and support those businesses. It's really just a very different site from what happened here six months ago because we know that this bombing really rocked this area. And you can see the massive damage the bomb in that lone RV caused. We know it affected thousands of Nashvillians and an in-depth look at the numbers shows it impacted an estimated 400 residents, 1200 employees, more than 45 businesses, damaged more than 40 buildings and three people were hurt. The man officials say is responsible for the damage is Anthony Warner from Antioch. He died in the explosion. Officials say they got DNA from a relative and it matched the remains found at the explosion. And not only did the bombing impact the Second Avenue area, but it crippled 911 services across Tennessee and in other areas. Flights out of Nashville were also briefly halted by the FAA because of ongoing telecommunications issues. But since this tragedy, more and more businesses are reopening, really rebounding, and people are able to come down here, support them, and construction has drastically scaled back as the area continues to heal. To see more of our reporting on this bombing, go to newschannel5.com. And coming up in the next half hour, we're going to tell you how the mayor is marking this day. Guys, back to you in the studio.